Hello, it's Kristen. I am in total besom making mode right now. Um, I have been connect collecting the handles for a while, and today I found these beautiful birch handles. Um, I'm going to need to clip these little extra twigs off of them, but I thought that they are going to make beautiful brooms. Um, they're just lovely. And I've also found these to use for the sweeping part. If anybody knows the name of the two parts of the broom, I know there's like a special name for it. But, um, I can't remember it right now. So um, this actually doesn't just break off. I need to find um, a pair of hedge clippers or rose clippers um, to trim these off and then I'm going to need some twine or something like that to tie it on. But um, this is not all that I have. I have two huge bushes of whatever this is. I think it's a rhododendron plant maybe, something like that, whatever this is called. Um, somebody ripped the entire plants out, my next door neighbor I believe, and I found three bu full bushes of this. So I can probably make a good 10, ten brooms out of it. I can also use the root part to make some smaller ones. So I'm excited to get started doing that and I will keep you guys posted and show you when I have one finished. Alright, and uh, this is what my altar is looking like right now. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of spell work lately. and. Um, my altar is kind of dirty. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's quite a mess right now because I've been doing a lot of work and spilling and getting things all over the place. But I have heard the saying that find me a clean altar and I will show you a witch who doesn't practice. So don't be too hard on yourselves um, about having a dirty altar. Just means you're doing what you ought to be doing. Oh, and I do have another update. I have finally um, taken my clothes out of here. This used to be um, all clothing. And now I have made it officially into witchy shelves. So I no longer have to dig through trunks to get to my witchy items. They're all in here. Um, maybe... I will do a video showing you some of the stuff that I have in here. A few things are kind of unique. Um, I have some ferret jaw bones and hedgehog quills and things of that nature that might be of interest to some people. So I'm really happy to finally have my own witchy cabinet. Um, and so now that I have my witchy cabinet. Um, all these drawers are mostly stuff for witchcraft. And I also have um, my monster. In here, I have um, like some reference books. But mostly um, these are my, I won't call them Book of Shadows, but basically they're the preliminary Book of Shadows. Um, my experimentation spell work that I'm I've done and I'm recording you know the results and once I figure out that something's successful or not then I can permanently put it into a book of shadows I have a small book picked out for that um, it's leather Let's see. hold on a minute while I dig through here it is this one. I know it's not very thick, but I like the fact that um, it, it seals shut. It's got these little button things on it. So um, I plan to make that into a small book of shadows. And that's about it for now. That's what I am up to for today. And um, have a wonderful weekend and many blessings. Leave me a comment or suggestions. And as always, blessed be.